okay uh, now i'm going to do the accuracy test for the energy meter by using this check meter 2.3 so initially the initial connection was uh, these all the voltage cables ROIB neutral and this is the current and this is for the scanning head sensor so I will show you the connection this voltage feedback I directly take it from the equipment uh, 546 and the next current clamp current clamp we have to connect it uh, over here these all the, actually the meter was installed over here this is a CT cables to the meter I directly connected over here the important thing is this CT clamp when we connect this clamp this arrow should be towards the meter it should be it must be towards the meter it will if it is in opposite direction it will make a huge impact on the reading so to avoid this we have to make it we have to ensure it this is very important and this is our scanning head so this feedback uh, I connected to the equipment now actually I am trying to catch kilowatt energy actually in, in front of the meter you can see there is a two LEDs one is for uh, KWH another one is KVARH so now the main thing is we have to connect this sensor So while we connecting this sensor, we have to make sure that um, in back side of the sensor you will find one LED. That LED must match with this LED. So if it is mismatched, your pulse will not count it properly and your output, uh, you will face the more error. During the accuracy test, you will face the more errors. To avoid this, we have to match it. While we install initially, there is the light available you can use this there is a green light you can use this light to make sure the and uh, like measurement so once you connect it after you install that you just try to inject some voltage and uh, current that time your LED must flash this LED is over here it must flash if it is flash if it is give the flash means you install this device properly your uh, scanning and installation is fine if you didn't see any flash over here you have to reinstall it again try to match uh, your LED uh, with the actual meter LED so this is done the next will be the kit setup now kit setup so this is the first page of the equipment once you enter over here just press ok and inside this is press enter again and the reference I'm just now checking the accuracy for active energy so the reference must be uh, summation of power active power P represent active power so now after that the meter constant you have to enter over here in my case 10,000 you can find it over from here the meter constant 10,000 and my active energy uh, error limit is 0.2 and the reactive 0.5 so now I now I set this meter constant 10,000 as per the meter nameplate press and this option also very important now I am catching uh, pulse to check the accuracy for KWH so this option should be impulse slash KWH once you done just press enter and come down here you have to set the impulse how many impulse you have to catch and based on that it will calculate the power and it will show you and next if you come down no need to change do any changes over there and come down go back and here the second option will be 
this is first and this is second this is error so as per meter i have to set 0.2 okay plus or minus 0.2 and again come down so this is a pulse button just press over here if you check uh, this part it's already showing 10 impulse this is what we already set inside the settings so my error now the 0.19 so i'm going to press again it started freshly now the pulse started to count if you check here the pulse 2 pulse 2 and once it's counted the 10 pulse completely this p pulse out it will change based on this value your error will be calculated the first one is active energy this is calculated based on the input voltage and current 198.9 actually if your ct the polarity is if it is reverse it will completely disturb this value we will ensure it wait so now it's done my error is 0.2 so we will wait for two more readings limit is error by calculated error value is under the limit before I uh, I recorded the video on that time the error was more than 0.2 the reason is the current clamp one reason should be your current clamp uh, must be fixed properly another reason uh, will be the your scanning head installation this uh, scanning head installation can be ensured based on that LED pulse and me, uh, this current clamp it will make a huge impact so uh, I'll show you exactly what will happen now uh, P summation active power 199 watt it was calculated based on the secondary value what we are injecting so now I'll show you what will happen if if the clamp is not fixed properly or otherwise it, if it is in opposite direction your error will be high now I change this clamp direction okay now the clamp direction was changed it was now the current direction is outward okay at the same time it should be fixed properly if it is like this or like this it's not accepted your error will be high maybe you, you will not get the exact accuracy reading so now I'll show you that power see now the power is completely down before it was around 199 point something but actual now is 66 this is because of current direction is reversed so the clamp is very important again I'll make it properly okay now I fix it so it should be like this okay this is very important it will make a huge difference in your accuracy if you installed wrongly see now again the power value 199 and P out 199.3 there are errors under the limit I think if I if I adjust this scanning head again the error may reduce so this is how we are doing the K, uh, KW the next will be when you are doing this uh, when we will do this uh, reactive power accuracy that time you have to change this reference from P to Q and constant remains same and see automatically this option get changed impulse slash k v a r h 
okay here also i just uh, put 10 pulses and come down and my accuracy was 0.5 for reactive energy so i'm going to change is 0.5 and come down now i am getting error because i didn't change the scanning head yet so i have to change it so now i am going to move to the current change kar le us taraf chale ja okay now we are just now we are trying to catch the pulse from impulse by kva or hled for that we have to move it before it was kilowatt now we just moving from kilowatt energy to reactive energy okay we just switch on the light to ensure uh, this led direction it must match with the scanning head led so okay i think almost we done okay once we done it and make sure that light must get on otherwise your pulse will not catch so the next step will be So now I'm doing this reactive energy. So for that, I'm just changing lag. The direction should be changed to for the quadrant. for to check the reactive energy also the same setup just make sure p instead of q 1000 no sorry not 1000 10000 pulse i'll make it 10 okay this is how bhai Point five should be point five. Okay, this is done. And come down 